Hi everyone, it's me planting Charlene and I did some plant shopping. Okay, so before I start talking about all of these beautiful plants that I purchased, I wanted to say thank you to everyone and anyone who has subscribed to my channel, has liked, commented, shared, or clicked the bell to know when a new video has come out. I appreciate you all. Thank you. So this past weekend, I made a little trip to Home Depot out in New Jersey. I wanted to uh, check to see if they had the uh, Costa Farms, um, I'm sorry, what is it called? The Trending Tropicals Collection. And they did, I was looking specifically for the, uh, the Truby Eye Moonlight. It wasn't there, but I'm very happy with all that I did find. Some of this is not from the the tropical uh, the tropical oh gosh, what is the name again? Trending Tropicals Collection from Costa Farms or Costa Farms, but they still were beautiful in itself, and I decided. To go a little crazy because I haven't been in Home, sh home Depot shopping very often so um, I've been doing most of my shopping for plants online and I decided to take a trip because I saw I forget I forget the name of the channel I'll put it at the top and she, she actually found it in Walmart the Truby Eye Moonlight but for some strange reason, my mind said Home Depot. And then um, when I did go to Walmart, I didn't even go to the garden center because it was so packed in there. I just turned around and I totally forgot. Okay, just to try and clear up some of this space that's in front of me with all of these beautiful plants. I'm going to start back here with the larger plants. So one of the plants that I purchased is this Aglionema, then I'm having a hard time getting out because it's heavy. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's heavy. So, um, this is the. When I first saw it, I actually thought it was the chocolate one, and I realized it's a little too pinkish, too light green. Even though this isn't light green, it's a dark green, but it's too. The color is still not dark enough to be the chocolate. And it doesn't say which one this is. So I'm going to have to look it up and I'll put it on the screen somewhere. But as you can see, oh, so I can pick it up. This plant is beautiful. Look at that. There's one thing about the Aglionema, Aglionema genus that I really like. I find that this along with the Hoyas, I can take care of these much better I do find that the first time I purchased one which was um, I don't know I'm not remembering names right now but that one the cutlass the mealy bugs attacked it in no time they probably were already there and I didn't treat it I don't recall like giving it a real good treatment like I did these this plant when it arrived the roots were sticking out, not arrived, but when I saw it in the store, the roots were sticking out of the soil. So I kind of took the pot, the plant out of the pot and added some more um, perlite to it because there was very little, if any at all. And I wanted to make sure that the soil was airy and the pot that it's in does have holes, but I wanted to make sure that the water wouldn't be sitting at the bottom. I do that, I do repot my smaller plants, maybe into a four inch pot with pots that don't have drainage holes. But when it comes to these big pots, I will not do that because there's so much more to the pot, the plant it being in such a big pot that the time it takes for this soil to dry out all the way to the bottom the roots are probably guaranteed to to rot so this cost me $26.98 oh i'm struggling oh my muscle game is weak Ooh. okay 
give me a second. I really need to work out more. But um, this plant is in about a nine to 10 inch pot. Be care for this. It does say, now I don't own this aglaonema, so I'm, I can do the basic assumption of the care for aglaonema. But on this, it does t uh, say, avoid cold drafts. That's not surprising. I took his space so I can make my video. But anyway, avoid cold drafts. Again, not surprising. When it comes to your plants, that's not meant to be around cold weather. You want to be careful about where you place it. If it's by a window or by a door that's constantly opening and closing and there's a, like I live in an apartment, so a door opening and closing in here still leaves a hallway. But if you live in a house or anywhere where maybe you have a terrace or a deck or something, and if you're constantly opening and closing that door and the plant is near that door, that's a cold draft that can hit the plant and it won't do well. It does say fertilize once a month. I started this month uh, to start using my fish and kelp for fish emulsion and kelp with an iron to fertilize my plants. I know it's early, but I'm using so little to the amount of water. I'm just kind of prepping them to let them know what's coming because spring is next month. And even though it could end up being cold here, it's still the season. So, and in addition, it says water thoroughly, dry out moderately between waterings. Again, this is in a very big pot. I wanted to make sure that each of these um, plants had what they needed. I added the pearl like like I noted earlier because it was just peat moss. This is planted in peat moss and there's nothing else. So. I put in the perlite. I did notice that they had um, a slow releasing fertilizer, those little little balls. And I wanted to give it, I put a little bit of worm casting in the soil and just kind of replaced the soil right back in the same pot. I did not disturb any of the roots because I didn't want this plant to go into any further shock than it already had been through. Considering that when I picked it up, all of them, we were in 30 something degree weather, maybe high 20s, low 30s. And it already had to go from the store into the car because it wasn't a bag big enough to put this kind of plant in. So, that's the first one. Oh, by the way, there was a little damage to the leaves. Like I said, it looked like the plant fell over. So I'm trying to get a discount, but they weren't willing to give me one. Whatever. I bought it anyway. Should this plant not make it? Home Depot, whether you know this or not, if you buy a plant from Home Depot, hold on to your receipt because if the plant dies within a year of purchasing it, they will refund you your full money for what you paid for that plant. So that's it for the first one. <laughs> okay, that's one plant down, five more to go. So stay with me people, okay? Here is the next large plant that I purchased. It too, whoo, is in a large container about nine ten inch container it was $29.98 <sighs> this plant also looked like it might have fallen and somebody just picked it back up and put it where it belonged this is a dumb cane now I do sometimes get confused between an aglionema and a dicamba Becky or Bakia. Um, when I actually didn't see this, Ernest actually saw it and was like, oh, that's nice. So I snatched it up. But um, this plant, too, had a little damage. 
some of these little dead looking leaves here. Uh, but in most part, the plant was in very, very good condition. And like that plant and all of these that are in front of me, other than these two that you can't see below here, these begonias, everything got washed down, everything got sprayed, the pots included, everything got wiped down, and it will take another bug-free shower um, weekly. And uh, I think I'll do that for the next three more weeks. But they do look beautiful. This plant, again, look at that. Look at that variation in those leaves. These plants are actually beautiful. Again, I went in there looking for the Trubii from the Trending Tropicals from uh, Costa Farms. They didn't have the Trubii in this collection. Um, I should have gone to Walmart. Sorry, I did go to Walmart, but it was too crowded in there, so I left. It must have been too crowded for me because, like, really too crowded, because I totally forgot why I was there. Just, it was like, went in, saw the crowd of people and turned right around. <laughs> it was bad. But at least at Home Depot, I was able to find some beautiful plants to add to my collection. I have not purchased plants this size in a long time. I have been doing four inch pots only at my largest size, but I did lose a few of my plants that were in larger pots like these. And I decided that I would replace a couple of them. Not all of them, just a couple and just kind of get a few full you know bushy plants in here that i used to have that i enjoy spring is around the corner and i really feel like this is probably the best time for me to buy plants on this size versus buying them more toward the end of summer going into fall because they have a better chance in my opinion of making it with me i can't call it for anybody else uh, me and Dyke and Bakia, we we have a pretty good relationship. Um, it's not as good as my relationship with Hoyas or uh, Chinese Evergreens, aka Aguilonimas, but it's right on the cusp of my relationship with those guys. So I felt very good about buying this plant, and I think it's absolutely beautiful, and I'm happy that I did purchase it. So yay me, winning! All right, two down, four more to go. And these two will probably be quicker because, again, trend in tropicals. Now, I've never seen this one before in the store. Usually, aglionemas are easy to find, but this was one that I never saw before, and I, I thought it was very pretty, and I purchased this. It came in this white pot. This size is about a six inch pot and it too has some damage. You can still see it here. It's probably going through the shock of the cold, me repotting it, but not in new soil, not disturbing any of the roots. It was more about um, the peat moss not having anything in it. I did drop it and I cracked the pot. So I gotta be very careful of when I water this because I don't want that water seeping out and as I noted all of these plants did receive um, the bug be gone spray now what I really like about this too are these pink stems so and it looks like there's like just a light shade of pink around the edges that brings out the, the stem and then the stem brings out the edges you kind of see it on this one more I think but this to me is so pretty and again me and Aglio Nemas are good we are very good in our relationship so far outside of the one that caught mealy bugs all of my Aglio Nemas are still with me and they propagate very easily too fast growing easy to find easy to care for for me so Another aglionema, uh, is there a theme? <laughs> no, not really. Um, this one I've owned in the past. 
But there are certain aglionemas that aglionemas that look a lot alike. And you know the the main difference may be the pink is stronger down the center for one. The pink may be strong around the edge for another. Maybe it has more green than pink. Maybe it has more pink or red than the green. Maybe the stems are green. I don't know which one this is, but I will put it at the bottom for what I believe it is. And that to me is so pretty. The first time I owned one of these was when I met my husband. He purchased one for me. I never saw the plant before at that time. And it was like eight and a half years ago. And I was like, oh, this is so pretty. But I overwatered it. It wasn't because I didn't know how to, um, I had known how to care for it. I definitely overwatered it. And I've learned that really with Chinese evergreens, evergreen, you don't need to overwater this plant. Just, you can, you know, oh, crap. You can wait, um, if it's dry on Tuesday, you can wait till Thursday. And it, it won't like start wilting too fast. It really can handle dry soil because um, I have a few and I forget to water them. And the cutlass is probably the main one where I forget to water it and it will start to yellow, the leaves will yellow, which is, and start, you know, leaning over but all the other ones that I have they do pretty good so I'm happy with this purchase the scenery is pretty much gone I'm down to the last two and these are my begonias that I purchased so here is the first one now me and begonias we have like a love like relationship it's definitely not a hate but it's a love life. I love them, they like me. And some like me more than others. Now I'm hoping these, well, I'm gonna stick to this one first. This one, I've never seen in person. I've seen it online and mainly at like Steve's Leaves, um, who is like the Gonya King to me. Next to them would be Logies. But when I saw this, I wanted it they had so many I didn't do any video of shopping in Home Depot but um, which I sometimes called Home Depot uh, they had so many and I went to more than one and both places had so many of these uh, begonias and I'm what I'm loving I see some new growth coming in here that one right there and then that one right there and then I'm not sure if that right here is going to be a flower or a new stem but whatever it is I'm happy about it now because begonias do not like having their leaves wet I did not spray these plants down but I did spray the soil uh, with my bug be gone spray and I'm hoping that it will suffice they're all going through a little bit of changes you know some shock of one being again in the cold no environment no lighting whatever the case may be they're going through some changes because i'm seeing some new leaves that are not making it right now but i know with time it'll acclimate to my home and be happy i'm keeping the humidity high because Begonias do like humidity. You would think because if you get these leaves wet, it'll like kind of do similar to this damage here, where it looks like right there to this part. It, they don't like their leaves wet. If you can avoid uh, getting water on their leaves, try to do your best. Some people may bottom water I still top water for these, but um, I just try to be as careful as I can when I water it. Because again, see this, this leaf here, got a little wet. And 
and so did this one so they're probably not going to make it and that's fine because like I said there's new leaves coming at least three maybe more last but not least is my other Rex begonia which I've owned before it looks very similar to the Madagascar begonia I believe but it's not how I can see the difference and if I have um, a picture of that one I'll put it here but the way you see the coloring right the darker green the lighter green then the darker green again <clears throat> The Madagascar grows very similar to that, but the leaf kind of grows inward, so it looks like a spiral, and it's very beautiful. When I went to this, that's what I thought it was at first, and then I realized that it's not, but I still love it because those colors are so pretty. And then on the back, you see how the leaves look, all these veins in those leaves and then the color as well is beautiful um this too has some new growth coming through and i see a flower ta-da on that flower i can oh come on where are you there it is see that yay winning again it has a flower so maybe if i do right that flower will grow tall enough and show itself above the leaves because right now it's being hidden by the um by the leaves but i don't know i'll see with time so there is my begonia rex i will put the name below for this one because a daggone uh, fungus that just flew right on out. Okay. They get on my nerves. Okay. That is a definite sign that I am going to end this video. Because I didn't like that. That almost got in my mouth. Y'all just saw a very not fun moment for me. Sorry, I'm just kind of thrown off here. Um, thank you. I'm going to end this video, like I said. I'm going to end it now. I've gotten through all the plants. And I appreciate everybody who's watching. I wish you all the best. God bless you all. Have a great day. Blessed day. And stay healthy out there, everyone. And be safe. Bye.